Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. As the world joins us this week in giving thanks, we know as believers, every day is a day of thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, every day is a day of thanks living. We know God is good and that his mercy is everlasting, and that his truth endured through all generations. We know that it's God who had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. So let's show the world this week, every day, God gives us strength and breath. How to give thanks to God for his goodness towards us. Paul reminds us that thanksgiving is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. That we must give God thanks in all circumstances. Whatever the issues, our attitude must be one of gratitude and we must give God thanks. We bless God that not only this week we are called to give thanks, but that we are called to give thanks all the time, every time, and in every situation. Why don't you say right now, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Our meditation comes from Psalm. 107 verse 1 and it reads oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever the word of God to the people of God and I want us to say it again but where the word always, put your name, Randolph, give thanks to the Lord. Imagine us sinners saved by grace, giving God thanks. Where did we get it from? When we consider everything, we are giving thanks because of what God has given to us. What we have is from God. The breath we breathe, the limbs we use, the eyes we use to see, our senses, everything comes from God. And so we must be grateful. We must have an attitude of gratitude. And it's difficult to give thanks when we forget. Because we're given thanks because God is good. That's the word today. Oh, give thanks because God is good. And if we need any more, we need to remember that a steadfast love endures forever. God's love towards us is not slack. It's not wishy-washy, it's steadfast. It's firm. Why are we yet in sin? The Bible says God loved us. He died for us. He gave himself for us. With man of love, the Father bestowed upon us. And so we are called, we are summoned. We are encouraged to give thanks. For God is good. And a steadfast love endures forever. Father, we give you thanks that we remember today to give you praise and adoration for your goodness, for your mercies towards us. How great is our God. Our hearts sing to you today. We are grateful. Our attitude is one of gratitude towards you. Because you are good and your steadfast love endures forever. 
So we honor you for family. We honor you for occupation. We honor you for business. We honor you, God, for health and strength. We honor you because of your grace and your mercy. You have brought us through. And your word says you will never leave us nor forsake us. We have so much to give you thanks for. And we pause with an attitude of gratitude today to give thanks. Bless you for those who lead the nations today. We give you thanks for our prime minister and all of parliament, their families. We praise you and you've given them to us. And we commend them to you. May they also be grateful and be thankful to you for your blessings upon them. We pray for leaders everywhere, those who are leading to make better best. We commend them to you. Those who are leading in havoc, in criminality, we come against their plans. And we pray even now as the believers shine bright, even today, they will see our good works and glorify you. Change because of your goodness towards us. We bless you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Help the body of Christ today to live so that others may see and indeed come to know you, home to know his life everlasting. We give you praise and honor and glory, and we are thankful even now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, let's give thanks. That's the key. Give thanks to God, for he is good, and his faithful love endures forever. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.